Today I am doing some more numbers in a range on FreeCodeCamp and this is now part of the intermediate algorithm scripting um, on the JavaScript algorithms and data structures sort of section of the site. So essentially we want to, well, we'll pass in an array of two numbers. Um, so here's the array and we want to return the sum of all the, uh, well, basically the, the sum of the two numbers plus all of the numbers between them. So if one and four, we're actually essentially want to sum uh, one, two, three, and four, right, which will return 10 um, as the sum of all, all of those. So the output would be 10 here. And if I just console.log, just around that for later. And looking through the rest of it, the lowest number might not always come first. So it could come to us as four and one, for example. Um, and then, yeah, we can see that um, we want to return 10 sort of for this example, and then we've got some others down here. Um, so we can see we're currently returning one and we're not actually using the array that we're passing in. So let's just change that. So I'll remove this. And for this example, essentially used a um, simple counter and then a for loop to start at the, the lowest position. Um, so we're gonna sort this array first and then so increment from one, go up to four and then just basically add this number to the count each time. Um, and because it will, it's sort of a for loop between this the range effectively, we'll be adding all of the numbers in between as well. So we'll just do let count equal zero to start that off and I'll return count down here. And then in the middle of this, if it loads, it's just frozen. There we go. Um, we'll do a for loop. So we'll do let i, oh, sorry, actually, we want to, as I said, um, sort the array first. So we can do array.sort. Um, and we need to actually pass in a and b with in brackets. And then we need to do um, a sort of a, I guess a fat arrow um, or an arrow function. And then we just do array or a minus b, sorry, um, to sort that. So if I console.log um, array now, we should see that here we've got one and four when we're actually passing in four and one. And obviously here we're mutating the array that we're passing in. So if we didn't want to do that, we could just do let sorted array um, equal array.sort. And then if I put that in instead, we can see we've got one and four here. Um, but if I put in the original array, we should have had um, maybe a dot sort does actually mutate the original array as well. So there's almost no need for that then. So actually I'll take that out um, and you could ignore that. So it turns out dot sort is mutating the array that we're passing in, but that doesn't matter in this example. And then for the for loop to increment the counter, we'll do let i equal um, array at position zero. So that's the first element, which will be one now. Um, whilst i is less than or equal to array at position one, which is the sort of the larger element. So this would be four in this case, once they're sorted, we'll do i plus plus, and we'll open up that sort of uh, the brackets there, and we'll just do count plus equals i. And all that's going to do, as I said, is go through um, from one to four, and it's gonna add one because we're starting there. So. Um, and then it, will, then it will add two, and then it will add three to the count, and then it will finally add four. And once i, which will be then four at this point, is less what well, equal to um, here, it's going to stop, do that, and then come out of the for loop and return the count. So if I hit enter here, run the tests, we can see all of those pass, which is great. And yeah, this is just one solution, of course, to um, the problem here, but hope it was helped. And if you have a, a shorter syntax or another way of doing this, I'd love to see that in the comments below. So let me know how you get on, but otherwise I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.